Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In the manufacturing process of integrated circuits, the chip is a very critical link. Now, due to its increasing importance, its importance has gradually attracted people's attention. Without semiconductor devices, this has also become a problem for the United States to carry out its research. Main reason for sanctions Since the new regulations were introduced in October, the United States has been actively seeking joint sanctions between Japan and the Netherlands. Although Japan and the Netherlands have successively announced export restrictions to China, China still imported 42 lithography equipment from abroad in November, which shows that the shipment speed of Japan and the Netherlands is still very fast. Chips are very critical to the development of high technology, so the US government imposes restrictions on Chinese technology. They will suppress Chinese products so that China cannot buy better products such as NVIDIA's AI chips. The United States continues to increase its ban on NVIDIA's export of Chinese products to hinder the development of China's artificial intelligence technology. The second reason is to prevent China from developing in high-tech fields, especially photolithography technology. In order to contain trade with China, the United States has been working hard to sign bilateral trade agreements with Japan, the Netherlands and other countries. Currently, ASML and Nikon are capable of making high-end lithography machines. One is from the Netherlands and the other is from Japan. These two companies have a high share in the chip field. The U.S. government wants to persuade them and impose restrictions on them. Due to reasons from the United States, Japan and the Netherlands both implemented strict controls on their respective products on September 1, July 23. However, just when the Americans thought that the tripartite agreement had taken effect, things did not go as they expected. The exports of equipment companies from the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands to China were not greatly affected, and even increased. Take photolithography machines as an example. According to news reports some time ago, China imported 42 photolithography machines from China last November, mainly from the Netherlands and Japan. There are 16 sets of photolithography equipment produced by the Dutch ASML company and 15 sets produced by Japan's Nikko and Canon companies. In addition, there are probably foreign second-hand equipment suppliers, a total of 11 units, which have not been made public. In November last year, China purchased 16 lithography machines from the Netherlands, and in October it purchased 21 lithography machines from the Netherlands. However, the price in November was far higher than that in October. Obviously, most of the lithography machines the engraving machines are relatively advanced. Therefore, why does this happen? The more the United States imposes restrictions on the export of equipment, the reasons are nothing more than the following two. First of all, manufacturers are rushing to seize the opportunity. For the company, if there are constraints, there will be losses. They will speed up shipments before the specified deadline to minimize losses, and ASML does a very good job at this point. 
ASML's revenue from the mainland accounted for 8% in the first quarter, 24% in the second quarter, and increased to 46% in the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, it was controlled by the Netherlands, but ASML said it has been approved and can still submit sales in the second half of this year. Supplied by Chinese companies Japan's Nikon, Canon and other companies, seeing ASML's enthusiasm, also increased their orders. But they should not violate Japanese regulations, because they are likely to produce more advanced lithography equipment. It can be seen from this that major manufacturers are racing against time to produce more equipment for Chinese companies. Secondly, Chinese companies have accelerated their inventory. The United States has increasingly tightened sanctions on China, so Chinese companies have to purchase more photolithography machines and other equipment from the United States. In the past two years, the U.S. chip ban has given China a lot of inspiration, allowing China to accelerate the pace of developing domestic chips. For example, SMIC has invested a total of 1.7 billion yuan in the past two years to establish four chip factories in four cities. Now, more than 70% of the chips on the market are manufactured with advanced processes, so this problem has been easily solved. Now, China's chip production has greatly increased, while China's chip exports have continued to decline, which has caused great losses to U.S. semiconductor companies. Some foreign media also believe that the U.S. chip ban is wrong. According to the latest data, China's current advanced process technology has occupied 29% of the world's market share, and this proportion continues to rise. It is expected that this number will rise to 33% in 2027. The most important thing is that domestic chip production equipment is fully prepared to allow domestic chips to produce more products. After the domestic equipment level is improved, the problem of high-end equipment can be solved. By then, China's advanced chip technology will have been greatly improved.